this is something that I really, really, really wanted to show you guys. Today's video is going to be football players as Mortal Kombat characters. As you can see on the thumbnail and you can see it from the title as well. So how did this begin? Yeah, before I begin, uh, I was chilling with my mates in the, the WhatsApp group and my mate was uh, sending some pictures of AI generated art. So I asked him what uh, generated art, uh, how did you make this and stuff like that. I curiously asked and it was actually really interesting, you know, it's something that uh, I was uh, amazed, like how, how is this possible? I then um, he told me, you know, the, the apps for AI generated art, one of them was Wonder, which you can download from App Store. It is not sponsored, uh, just for your information, it's not, nothing sponsored in my channel as of now, yeah? So I tried to use uh, the, um, the software that my friend uses. You know, and you know, because I was thinking, you know, I love Mortal Kombat and I love football. Why don't I just try to do something to combine it together? And what better way I can do it and what more possible way to do it is do AI generated art, having football players as Mortal Kombat characters. So what I'm going to be doing today is going to show you a whole FootWiz. Uh, FootWiz, as you know, is a football uh, website, uh, FIFA website for or FIFA Ultimate Team, as you know, which I could do squad builders. It is the alternative to Foothead as well, but Foothead has been shut down. The alternative, the, or else the better, is FootWiz. So I'm going to be showing you a squad builder for, with the starting 11 and the bench, uh, showing you the players, random players, and with the gen AI generated art. Uh, Basically wearing the costumes from Mortal Kombat, like so and so is Scorpion, so and so is uh, Sub Zero, some so and so is Kenshi, some you you name it, yeah. So, without further ado, let's go to Footwiz. Okay, so before we'll go for the starting eleven, let me just show you the bench, right? Let's start off with Jan Luigi Buffon. So he's nothing special, just to start off with, he's our pretty much our substitute goalkeeper, right? And you're thinking, why is Buffon on the bench? Uh, are you going to put him in starting 11? Well, I actually got someone, well, kind of better uh, by most people. He's also uh, I, I, literally a legend as well. Uh, but Buffon, as you can see, he is dressed up as Ermac. However, he, he does have the green eyes, but he doesn't have the mask. But uh, yeah, he looks all right. It kind of looks like him a bit. Uh, but he is not really special in that regard. But it, it kind of looks good. Uh this is the thing with AI generator art. It looks absolutely, cr it's actually cool, you know, uh, that things uh, like this is happening. So, so we'll start off for Buffon, already a good banger. And uh, yeah, it's a good AI generated art and stuff like that. Now we move on to uh, the GOAT, according to rival Manchester United fans. The false five, whatever you like to call him. Uh, <laughs> Maguire, he's, uh, he, he's that one of a kind or say false five of a kind. See, Harry Maguire, his uh, costume for Mortal Kombat, he is dressed up as Reptile. Now, as you can see here, uh, it kind of looks like him in a, bit, in a bit, in my opinion. Some people might disagree, but the thing is, his eyes are it seems a bit distorted. And that's the one problem with it. Other than that, it seems like a good AI-generated art. Uh, yeah, uh, I like it as well. Now, let's move on to the Laughing Man. Basically, who, who, who laughs like a hysteric geezer you know he he laughs hysterically on monday night football i'm sure you know you guys know, know him very well we got mika richards um mika richards because he's big yeah and uh he, as you can look at him as well he is dressed up as Jax in mortal kombat so that's actually one of their better ones in, in this bench as well uh i really like it kind of suits him as well he's big he, you know he's full of jack he's jacked how, how you gonna say uh, uh, yeah, so it, this one is actually one of the good ones. Uh, I have someone else as right back as well. Uh, he's also kind of looks similar, uh, more combat character, which you'll see in the starting 11. Someone really significant as well. So yeah, uh, this one is a, uh, is a good one. Next to him is the one who gets irritated by Baker Richards' laugh in uh, Monday Night Football as in that matter. We got the guy, the Kung Fu Master who kicked Holland's dad, Roy. Keen, Roy Keen, ladies and gentlemen, he is dressed up as Kano in Mortal Kombat. Uh, the costume, the attire, it kind of looks kind of average, but he kind of looks like you know, uh, one of those warriors in like fighting games. He just has a red laser eye and stuff like that. Uh, 
yeah, it kind of looks like, uh, it kind of looks like Kano in the It's nothing too special as well, but uh, it looks all right. But there's a lot of better ones as well, right? which you will see as well. Uh, right, Kane? Because you see, Kano's more, he's more like Australian and stuff like that. So maybe, I know Keen is, is Irish and stuff like that. You see here, you see these football players are just random. That just come into mind. And also I tried to use different football players as well. Some of them pulled off better than others. So some of them made it to the team. There's some people that I could have put in the team. But since the AI generated art didn't recognize it. And here's the thing, yeah. Uh, when it comes to AI generated art. Uh, he, you know, some football players are just that famous that it could just pull off. And these football players made it, right? However, there are some football players that, you know, when you put in the prompt, it, it kind of puts like someone that doesn't look like him. Some of them in this team, you might observe it. So it's kind of a bit disputed as well. But uh, yeah. So some of the players kind of look like him in a bit to an extent and some of them literally look like him as well. That, no doubt about it. So he's dressed up as Kano. Uh, yeah, it's absolutely amazing as well. Let me know in the comment section below which one you like so far. Now moving on to my guy, the ginger head assassin. Pretty much the, 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 the pivot, Manchester United's heart. It is Paul Scholes, the man who scores goals he is dressed up as Rain. I don't know why I did this. There is no correlation between Rain in Mortal Kombat, the Purple Ninja, and Paul Scrolls in football. I just had to put, you know, just random football players. This is what this video is all about, basically. Football players as Mortal Kombat characters. And he looks one of the better ones as compared to the other ones as I showed so far. Uh, Paul Scrolls, he is dressed up as Rain, and uh, he doesn't have the mask. That's the one thing I'll say about it. He kind of looks like Young because he has that, uh, he has a, what do you call it, uh, the spiky uh, hair, which is from his widow's peak. So it kind of looks more younger as compared to what he looks like now. He looks much older right now. But uh, in this picture, he kind of looks young, in, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. That This one's uh, one of the better ones. It, I'm surprised it pulled off. So yeah. Now, now we got Spice Man. Bend over like Victoria, bend it like Beckham. Who else would we say? We got the Victoria Secret right here. Bendy man, we got David Beckham. And pulling him off in AI generated art was one of the better ones. He's actually one of the better ones in this team, one of the best ones. He's like one of the top six, top five in this team, in this squad. And David Beckham, he is dressed up as Kenshi in Mortal Kombat. Kenshi, as you know, he's the Japanese uh, Yakuza, ex-Yakuza gangster. Yakuza is a Japanese mafia. So Kenshi is from the uh, Yakuza Japanese mafia gang. So obviously has nothing to do with Dave Beckham, whatever. But uh, because I use other fo other characters in Mortal Kombat for other football players better than him, yeah? The more significant ones. But his AI generated art looks absolutely amazing. It looks a lot like him because he has the beard and he has the, you know, the hair and stuff like that. And he has the, you know, the blindfold. But the thing is, his, you can see his eyes through his blindfold. It kind of looks weird because I, that's what the AI generated art does. It, it doesn't fully cover his eyes. You kind of see through his eyes. I don't know why it does that, but uh, it looks good enough. Like it kind of looks like David Beckham in a Kenshi costume. Uh, you can see the sword in, in the back as well. So it kind of indicates that he is dressed up as Kenshi in Mortal Kombat. And to be fair, he's one of the better ones in this team. He's one of the best ones. And and that's only only one player. You haven't seen the, the, the starting eleven. When I show you the starting eleven, you all oh, you will love it. If you're a Mortal Kombat fan, if you're a football fan, you will adore this. Yeah? Now, moving on to Mr. Shrek. He could I don't I wish Shrek was in Mortal Kombat. If he was if there's was Shrek as a, you know, a, a, in combat pack in Mortal Kombat 1, like Omni-Man, uh, Peacemaker, uh, the Homelander and stuff like that. I wish Shrek was in Mortal Kombat. If Shrek was there, I would get, if Shrek was a Mortal Kombat car character, I would give Shrek, uh, Ray Rooney to Shrek uh, AI generated art. But unfortunately, Shrek was not in Mortal Kombat franchise, not known for doing that. He's, he's in the Dreamers, uh, you know, franchise, not in Mortal Kombat. But Wayne Rooney, he has dressed up as Aaron Black. 
So Aaron Black, as you know, he's the evil cowboy in Mortal Kombat. He was first introduced in Mortal Kombat X, Mortal Kombat 11, and Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, no, not Mortal Kombat 1. I take that back. Mortal Kombat X and Mortal Kombat 11. He's the cowboy as well. Uh, it kind of looks like him to a bit, but his facial hair kind of looks weird. doesn't look like him in the way. The facial hair kind of puts him off in the way. But the facial features uh, does resemble him to an extent. But the thing is, if you look at the picture, his hands is kind of look abnormal, kind of look odd when he holds the gun. It it kind of looks like he's he's holding like a long gun or is he holding a revolver? They kind of messed up with his hand. But other than that, when he wears the cowboy hat and the facial features, they nailed it. The AI generated art nailed it. Uh, just so you know, these come from website from image to go just to remind you again. Uh, they're all no Harry Maguire came from Wonder. Yeah, and the rest of it came from Image to Go. Image to Go is like a website for AI generated art, as you know. So yes, yeah, so this is the substitution. So that up up next, I'm gonna be showing you the starting eleven, and I'll show you the manager. The manager is one of the best ones in the whole squad. I'll I'll just say about that. Yeah. Now let's go to goalkeeper. And the reason why I didn't put Gianluigi Buffon in goal because I have someone who is well known. Uh, at the very least at the time uh, If I could find him. Oh, 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 I saw him. I see him. I see him uh, We got the forgotten Sleeping giant the forgotten legend you 12 year olds do not you know You 12 year olds don't know who he is like fully, you know, this guy was an absolute legend It's such a surprise that a lot of people forgot about him Seriously, you know, we got like Manuel Neuer, David De Gea, everybody knows all oh, uh, um, Kepa Arica Blanca, you know, these Spanish goalkeepers, but a lot of people, especially the youngsters in this day and age, cannot see the, you, you know, he is one of the most decorated goalkeepers of all time. He is a forgotten legend. Oh my god, it was a pleasure to watch, watch him, even though he was six foot. He was, he was really good I, and he's our forever be a Real Madrid legend. It was so sad to see him go when he was, uh, you know, he got kicked out uh, in Real Madrid and stuff like that. He had the same very situa same situation as Lionel Messi when he left Barcelona as well. But yeah, he's, uh, he was a legend. But his AI generated art is nothing special. He is dressed up as Smoke in Mortal Kombat. So he has the gas mask. But the thing is, his eyes seem too big how he looks like in real life. So it kind of puts it off in the way. But the hair, they kind of nailed the hair and stuff like that. So you, if you are a true football fan and you are quite lenient in terms of criticism of the AI generated art, you kind of resemble him. If you're harsh, then you might say otherwise. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you think it looks like him in a bit? To an extent, maybe, but not really. I think the eyes kind of ruined it. But uh, yeah. It, it seems all right. He's uh, one of the more meh, right? Center back. I'm going to put another great legend. Not only... Uh, you got Kate Kirksias, who was a legend of Real Madrid. We got a legend who was a legend at AC Milan. We got Paolo Maldini. Maldini, this guy, if you've seen him... Bro, the, in his prime, he was amazing. He was phenomenal. The phenomenal one like AJ Styles. I'll tell you that right now. Because this guy has long hair, there's a Mortal Kombat character who has long hair. And his name is Nightwolf. Even though the AI generated art kind of looks like Rambo by Estee Stallone, uh, there was a very similar Mortal Kombat character named Nightwolf. He's known for axe and a uh, bone arrow. And he looks like a hippie as well. Uh, Balo Maldini, because he has long hair, I decided to have... Paolo Maldini as uh, dressed as Nightwolf. Nightwolf was first introduced in Mortal Kombat 3, uh, last seen in Mortal Kombat 11. So he's like this hippie peacemaking geezer uh, who is, uh, you know, had born arrow in the streets and uh, in, in the forest. My apologies. Why is it street? I don't know why. So Paolo Maldini, he's one of the good ones. Uh, yeah, so it kind of looks good. Uh, the face, he has the blue face paint, even though Nightwolf has red face paints in Mortal Kombat 3. Uh, kind of, it kind of looks like it, but. Uh, yeah, so let's go to left back. This is another player that a lot of people, a lot of 12 year olds don't even know in this day and age, but in the OG era, he was well known. And he was regarded as the one of the best left backs in the world in his prime. Uh, we got Ashley Cole. Where is he? Where is, where is that geezer? There he is. There he is. Also known as 
Sheriff Cole's playboy. Oh, wait, sorry. My apologies. Cashley Cole. Because he came from Arsenal to Chelsea for the money. And that's what a lot of Arsenal fans are saying. Even though I was a United fan. I'm a United fan, sorry. So we got Cashley Cole. Sheryl Cole's playboy. The money grabber. The money sucker. Sucking la 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 la. You know? Uh, sucking up the money. You know, here comes the money like Shane McMahon. Uh, I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway. Uh, Ashley Cole. He's dressed up as a not so known, well known football. Uh, not so known Mortal Kombat character. He's dressed up as Darius in Mortal Kombat. Darius, as you know, in Mortal Kombat, he was first seen in Mortal Kombat Deception, also known as Mortal Kombat Unchained in the PSP version. Uh, he is a reb rebel of the realm of order. So he's uh, a, a rebel against one, another character named Hotaro. He's a Satan guard. And uh, this is rebel. Uh, he's a rebel against uh, Hotaro. In, in, in This is some of the conquest mode of Mortal Kombat uh, Deception. And now he's actually was there in, in Mortal Kombat 1. So the guy, he is, because he has the sunglasses well with Johnny Cage, definitely would love to have him. He loves that shades. He also has the shades as well. So uh, he, I know he kind of, he doesn't look like Jax, but I decided to put him as Darius. He's not so well known, but he's cameo in Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, but this is actually, it, it kind of looks like him. It kind of looks like Ashley Cole in my opinion. Uh, let me know what you think. So let me just show you. Yeah. Up in the right back, very well, well known in the OG era. We got your man, Kafu. Oh my God! I I oh ho 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 ho. Now I could have had him as Jax in Mortal Kombat, but I want to reserve that for Mika Richards, the laughing geezer from Monday Night Football. Kafu, he's more widely recognized as a right back legend. Uh, you always be a legend, you know. But he uh, uh, because of injuries, he uh, you know. Couldn't had didn't have the longevity like Messi Ronaldo and stuff like that, but he he was a legend. I'll tell you that. Now he is dressed up as uh, Giras in Mortal Kombat. Giras is basically one of the the, the, the keeper of time. He's the, uh, the the guy who operates the the time with the hourglass. He was first introduced in Mortal Kombat Eleven. Yeah. Uh, no, I think he was. No, no, no. Uh, he was he, he was first introduced in Mortal Kombat 11, and he's also introduced. Uh, he, he was also there in Mortal Kombat 1, so I, that's why he has the glowing blue eyes over there, and he's proper jacked as well. Without the glowing eyes, he kind of looks like Jax, but I decided to reserve him for Giras in Mortal Kombat. All right. Now, the reason why I jumped all the way to right back, and not put the you know the way I just go with the center backs and go for the full backs. Because I have, this is one of my favorite. This is, lads, this, this, this is undisputed in my opinion. I, if this doesn't look like him, I don't know what is. I, this is one of my favorite AI generated art. Like, this is undeniable, yeah? We got Mr. Dirty Boy, oh, Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos, my boy. Just look at his AI generated art. As Homelander once famously said, it was perfect. Perfect. Everything. Down to the last minute details. And this is something that I would agree. And this is something I would highly emphasize about this picture. Because this is actually one of the best AI generated art in this whole squad. Hands down, this is the best. I, I love this. He, what he dressed up as is Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat. Sergio Ramos is, is like an antagonist. Shang Tsung is an antagonist. Like, uh, Sergio Ramos is known to be very dirty. Uh, like antagonist. He's a villain and according to rival fans. People who hate Real Madrid at the time. Or people who hate Sevilla and stuff like that. But man. Because, uh, because he's an antagonist. Shang Tsung is an antagonist. It suits him very well. And... Wow, the fact that the AI generated I pulled that off, I started adoring it. I adored every minute detail about it. And it's absolutely amazing. As Homelander once famously said, this is hands down one of my personal favorite. This is undisputed. Uh, let me know in the comment section below which one you think is the best. So yeah, oh, I could talk about this picture all day. I, I, I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Let's go down to the holding midfielder. We got your man. Casemiro. I always I, I like this guy. I, I, I like this guy. Why do I spell people's names wrong? 
We got your man, Casemiro. Uh, he, I, I love this guy because he's a good holding midfielder. He's the backbone. He could go be our backside when it's needed. And uh, one of my favorite uh, fighting game characters uh, is Kung Lao in childhood. So I reserved that for Casemiro. So Casemiro, he is dressed up as Kung Lao in Mortal Kombat. So you could see, if you look closely, you could see kind of resembles him in my opinion. But obviously the hat can kind of, uh, you know, because it covers his hair. So if he wasn't wearing that hat, it kind of fully re uh, resembles him in the bit. But uh, with the hat uh, and looking at his face, it kind of looks like him in my opinion. And I actually love it. This is from Wonder, the app Wonder, if I'm app store. It wasn't from image to go uh, Unlike... Yeah, so uh, we got Harry Maguire. That's from Wonder. Casimir from Wonder. He was there in the community post, as you guys know. Alongside alongside Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. The guy who wants to speak but never got the opportunity to speak. I'll speak for him. He's the finely made Belgian chocolate. The, the quality of a football player. Even as a United fan, I highly love this guy. I admire him in my opinion. Kevin De Bruyne, as you can see from my uh, community post because he's a blonde football player he's blonde haired also Johnny Cage is blonde haired as well so he is dressed up as Johnny Cage in Mortal Kombat with his sunglasses and he has the blonde hair and, and, and to look this is like one of my favorite ones I, I, I actually really love this one as well it, it kind of looks I, I just love it you know I, I, I love the background it is from Wonder as well and uh, yeah it, it this is this is actually crazy good so we got Casemiro, Kevin De Bruyne, and to commit the, to complete this beautiful looking midfield. It's oh oh, look at the look at the midfield, boys. Look at the midfield. We got your man, the bald headed assassin, the head budding machine, Monsieur Roulette, Zinedine Zidane. Because he's a baldy, Quan Chi is a baldy. Zinedine Zidane, he is dressed up as Quan Chi. A baldy will always be a baldy. This is what you see here. Uh, the eyes, he has a bit of a glowing eyes as well. Um, yeah, it seems all right. It seems cool. Uh, it's not so, uh, it's not better than the other ones because compared to the Sergio Ramos, I tell you that. Uh, he's not, uh, I don't know if he's an antagonist as Sergio Ramos, but uh, even though Quan Chi is an antagonist, he's a sorcerer as well. And Shang Chi is a sorcerer as well. So yeah, I decided to put Zinedine Zidane. I could put other bold football players, but I wanted to put someone in the midfield and who could do it? Then it's in a D sedan, because he's a baldy and Quan Chi's a baldy. There you go. Now, and my phone is ringing. I don't know why. I forgot to turn, put it silent. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, let's go to Striker straight away. Because Liu Kang is, I, uh, he's known for doing martial arts like Bruce Lee. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is also known for martial arts because he has a black belt in Taekwondo. Lucan is also known to be the champion of Earth Realm. He has that Bruce Lee style martial arts kind of way. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he is dressed up as Liu Kang in Mortal Kombat. Obviously, he doesn't have the red band as uh, Liu Kang normally has, but he does have like the red robe. So it kind of looks like Liu Kang in a way. Something that he would wear is something like his skin maybe. And... Uh, it looks kind of cool, but his face kind of looks a bit odd, but does look like Zatan Ibrahimovic in a way. And uh, it's one of our poor quality, uh, free uh, AI generated art. But imagine if you use a better quality paid AI generated art, I think it would be look much better. Now, the reason why I went to uh, the striker straight away, not left or right, right, and then striker, because I wanted to show you the two greatest football players of all time. Oh my god. Uh, I. I Oh, 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 We got these uh, uh, two random football players. One of them is Cristiano Ronaldo. And another one is Lionel Messi. Oh, goodness me. Let's start with Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo, he is dressed up as Scorpion. Now, I, I did two data generated arts. One of them from Wonder, another one from Image to Go. Both of them look like Cristiano Ronaldo. In a scorpion costume, whereas Lionel Messi is the exact same uh, from Image to Go. I did the exact same from Lionel Messi, where he's dressed up 
as Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat. This picture from Wonder is from my community post, but I did another one for Image to Go. That's the other picture. It's not as good as the other one from the Wonder, but the Image to Go one, I did another one just to show you guys as well. And uh, yeah, I literally, my de my desk, I had a desktop a wallpaper where I had Messi as uh, Sub-Zero and Ronaldo as Scorpion. That looks absolutely insane. I would, I know uh, some people might disagree, but uh, I wish football players would be in Mortal Kombat because I love football and Mortal Kombat. I wish they put like a sportsman or like an MMA fighter, you know? What's with the phone, man? Shut up. But anyway, um, I could have turned this off. You know the way we had Omniman and the other way we got like Pump Back, One Peacemaker and Homelander? I wish Christian Ronaldo and Leon Messi be in Mortal Kombat. I know it's not, it's, uh, the odds of it is very low happening. I don't know if it's going to ever happen at all. But imagine that happened, that looks absolutely amazing. And I'm surprised though I did a video of uh, football combat, um, but there was like celebrity combats, you know, uh, like Elon Musk, like, like Angela Merkel and stuff like that, and presidents, you know, uh, country presidents and stuff like Kim Jong-un and stuff like that, more combat. So I decided to do football combat. And wow, I, I never thought this was happening. I, I absolutely love making this AI art generated art in this. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. So yeah, that is the whole team. Oh, before I go, before I go, how what how can I, I ever forget? Oh my god, the manager. I I can't put the manager anywhere in this squad here, unfortunately. But I got Sir Alex Ferguson, Fergie time, the chewing gum chewing chewer. Yeah, uh, Sir Alex Ferguson as Raiden in Mortal Kombat. And he, his AI generated art looks absolutely insane. I love the fact that he's holding like an electronic bolt, ball, whatever you like to call it. And he has the con conical hat. And because he's old, Raiden's also old, like, el like because he's like an elder god and stuff like that. So he must be different ages and stuff like that. And uh, it, lo it literally suits him as well. Like that, that I love the AI generated art, especially on Raiden. So if you were to ask me which is like my top five, I would choose David Beckham as Kenshi. That's top number five. Uh, I would put Sir Alex Ferguson as Raiden as number four. Uh, Lionel Messi as third uh, for for Sub Zero. Christian Ronaldo as number two as Scorpion. That area generated art. And the last one is Sergio Ramos. Sergio Ramos is my number one in my opinion. Let me know if you think otherwise. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Let me know if you, what you want me to do next. What other franchise you want me to do next and make a starting line. Make, make a squad with like for example uh, football players as Grand Theft Auto characters or I don't know Pokemon characters. I don't know what you want to show. But uh, yeah so this is the Heat team. Just random football players as more com random more comic characters. So yeah a lot of talking a lot of rambling. I'll just rest my case. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys have a very nice day.